Hey guys, Sandy here. I'm the author of Heal Yourself and a Holistic Health Coach. Today I want to talk about detox pathways and we're definitely not going to be able to dive into it all in three minutes, but I do want to clear up a really key point in that many people in groups, and I talk to hundreds of people every month, I do a lot of free health assessments, they think that their detox pathways are supported when they're taking something like milk thistle and charcoal. Now, while both of these things can be good, well, I'm not a fan of, of charcoal because it's too strong of a binder, but um, while milk thistle can be good, it really has to be right for your body. And the only way you're going to find out what your detox pathways are doing is to test. So there's three phases, phase one, phase two, phase three. They did not get very creative with their names, but Phase one uses CYP enzymes, and we can test that by looking at our genetics to see if we have a mutation there. And if we do, it's going to be slowing down those enzymes, and there's certain enzymes that make milk thistle contraindicated if you have a mutation on it. So you need to test before taking things like milk thistle or turmeric, grapefruit, you can actually be slowing down those enzymes further and basically turning off your detoxification. So... Phase two has seven subphases, subphases which are sulfation, self, glucuronidation, you've got the glutathione pathway, acetylation, amino acids, methylation, sulfoxidation. So it's really in depth and you really want to take a look at your blood work, your genetics, an oats and a dutch to really see what those different phases are doing. And I go in depth on testing all of these phases in my book, Heal Yourself. Now, phase three is something that you can definitely work on right away, and that is going to be your bile flow, that's going to be your kidneys, and that's going to be how you detoxify from your skin. So you can put in things like dandelion to help with bile flow, you can do some malic acid to help with bile flow, um, you can do like a kidney cleanse tea, but you can actually test your EGFR to see if your kidneys are having any issues. And if they're not, you really don't have to put that much support there because if they're at optimal range, then you're good to go. Um, and you can also help detoxify through the skin which is doing some infrared saunas, some uh, dry skin brushing will also help. So the key to this is test, be careful what you're taking because often you can be literally turning off your detoxification pathways. When it comes to methylation, people think, oh, I just need to add methyl donors. And that's definitely not a good idea either without testing because you can overmethylate and you can really affect your neurotransmitters by taking too much methylation, uh, methyl donors. And you can also, if you have a CBS enzyme, cause a lot of harm by taking methyl donors. So the key is run those labs.